we're going to unbox the D-Link DCS8350 LH. This is a 2K QHD indoor Wi-Fi camera. Here are some of the specs. It features a QHD 1440p 2K resolution. It has got a H.265 compression and that delivers a higher image quality. It features a two-way audio with speaker siren and lets you hear and be heard. Now, this is one of the Wi-Fi camera that supports dual band Wi-Fi 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz and this is important because most of the routers out there today supports dual band Wi-Fi it has got a color night vision that lets you see up to 7 meters in dark environments it has got the traditional micro SD card slot and you're allowed to store up to 256 gig of video for security wise it has got the latest WPA3 so here are some of the features and as you can see on the box itself it is one of the best IP camera so let's unbox this and take a look So these are the items that you have in box. Now let's take a quick look at the camera. So this is where you plug the micro USB cable to power it on. And over here you've got the micro SD card slot. So do note that you can mount this camera on a pole or on a wall with the mounting screws. So you need to align the catch to the mount itself and turn with a click. Now let's assemble the camera so that we can start using it. First, you need to decide which adapter you want to use. For our case, we'll use the UK adapter. Simply just plug it in and twist. To remove, simply press on this button here and turn anti-clockwise. So once again, put it in and turn. And you can use the micro USB cable. So this end goes into the power plug itself. And the other end, as you can see, it goes right to the back of the camera. And you are ready to set up the camera. Now for the simple setup, we first need to get the My Dealing app on the App Store or on Google Play. So let's do that. We'll use an Android phone. So we'll go to the Play Store. We'll install. Once installed, you can open the app. So you need to create a new account. You need to go to our inbox and follow the instructions in the email to activate our account. So from our email, we can tap on activate account. So once activated, we can go back to the setup. We'll sign in. At the permission request, select next. We are now ready to set up our device. Before that, let's power on the camera. So connect the plug to a wall socket and turn it on. 
we need to wait until the status LED flash orange before we continue on the setup. Now, on your Android phone, make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on. Once the LED on the camera flash orange, you can see that on the phone itself, the app, it has found the device. It has found the camera. Tap on Add Device. We can scan the setup code located on our device. Now the setup code is on the device itself. So you can scan either setup code. We'll scan on the installation guide itself. So choose the Wi-Fi network that we want to connect for our device. We'll select Technology Tips 5 GHz. Key in the Wi-Fi password for our network. Once the Wi-Fi password is keyed in, tap on Confirm. The device is now connected to our home network. You can change the device name. Let's change it. Do note that you can use easy voice commands on Alexa or Google Assistant using the device name. And you can also set a designated contact if needed. And that will allow you to quickly tap a button on a notification to make a phone call when something is triggered. We'll skip that for now. Let's go to next. So camera has been installed. You can see that the LED status on the camera is green. So we'll show over here the other LED behavior for your reference. So you're all done. The camera has been installed. So you can set some automation rules. For events such as when a person is detected, or when there's smoke alarm detected. We'll select OK. Here are some privacy modes. We'll set it up myself later. So you can also do some clock recording if needed. We'll select later. Next, there is an essential firmware update. Let's update the camera. The firmware update is completed. Let's close. Here are some tips on how to use the camera. And so, this is how you do a simple setup for your D-Link DCS-8350LH camera.